Hi and welcome back to how to use ANA2. In this one we're going to take a look at the envelopes. So the first thing you notice uh, that's different from ANA1 is the envelopes now have a selection at the top where you can decide what sort of shape you want to have in the envelope. So we have a few different types. We've got the shapes from ANA1, ANA2, we've got um, an analog version of the ANA2 one and an analog version of the ANA1. And basically what these are are the decay and release and attack curves and the shape. So the ANA1 shape was always just a, a standard um, exponential curve and the ANA2 one is sort of like it starts off with a curve and slowly slopes into a uh, more of a straight line very similar to an actual pluck of a guitar or something along those lines and um, so it's just a slightly different curve and it gives you um, a slightly different sound so I'll add a filter here and we'll add some fil filter envelope so you can hear the difference between these two so that's the Anna one one's quite plucky sounding And the Anna 2 one is slightly different, it's a bit more open. And then the analog variations are similar but they just have some more analog characteristics they have slightly slower attack times there's a bit of a transition between the attack and the decay and the release time is um, set so it isn't just as sharp um, so I'll let you hear the difference between the Anna 1 analog and the Anna 1 as you can hear there, it's a sharper attack. It's a bit more digital sounding. Um, and we also have a feature in our settings menu that's related to our envelopes, and it's envelope variation. So this is basically a randomizer on each n each voice. Um, so the envelopes are slightly slower or faster. And certain analog synths had sort of a bit of um, variation in their envelopes but give it a bit more character so you can turn that up if you want a bit more vibe um, below our selector we have our standard attack decay sustain and release and again below that we have our curve settings so you can switch between a super bent curve or a more linear shape and then we have our velocity control which um, assigns how much velocity you want to the envelope amount so very handy and um, moving on to our amp envelope so all the same controls pretty much apply only this time the envelope is assigned specifically to volume And then we have our mod envelope, and this is a freely assignable set of envelopes. We have four of them in total. And you can assign either going into the mod matrix and selecting it as the source, and then you can select any of the destinations. Or another way to hook stuff up is just to go to a control and right click, and then you can assign it to the mod envelope. And then the depth control controls how much
So there we go, that is the envelopes in Anna 2. In the next video we're going to take a look at the GM. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.